So now, before it was your company, now I think you're being dishonest because I just asked about that and you said it cannot be done. So I said, okay, I'm gonna hang up and go call. Now you're offering it. Do you see how dishonest this is? Cable internet companies are some of the sleaziest businesses around. Cable internet is an unregulated industry, but almost everyone depends on internet access for modern day life. For most of us, internet access is an essential utility today. Cable, cable internet, internet companies, companies routinely, routinely hold, hold their, their customers, customers hostages. hostages. And the only thing that keeps cable internet companies in check is competition and its customers' willingness to leave them. The cable internet industry takes advantage of its loyal customers, but reward people who are disloyal to them. It, it is, is a, a perverse, perverse way, way of, of doing, doing business. business. The cable internet industry trains its customers that in order to get the best deals, you, you have, have to, to always, always be, be looking, looking elsewhere. elsewhere. In many parts of the U.S., there is little or no internet access, especially in rural areas. Rural customers get the worst deals because they have few or no options. It's, it's take it or leave it in these areas. areas. However, even in cities where there is competition, cable internet companies routinely take advantage of their customers. The only way you can prevent yourself from being ripped off is to call your cable internet company at least once a year and threaten to disconnect and change internet providers. When you do this, they will connect you to the customer retention department, not the sales department. The customer retention team are the folks you speak to who give you special deals and incentives to keep and save your account. Every year, I call my cable internet company and threaten to disconnect with them. I do this because if I don't, my accounts will get jacked up and will continue to get jacked up. My annual calls to threaten a disconnect are routine for me. However, this year was different. I, I recorded, recorded my, my latest, latest call to, to my, my cable, cable internet, internet company. company. And the lies and scripts they used on me this year is really unreal. In my recording, I've edited a bit so that it's easier to listen to. I've added captioned comments to provide better context and explanations of the lies and tactics being used against me on the call. So you want to watch as well as listen to my call. Make sure you listen to the end where there is an another annoying sales pitch made to me and my reaction to it. It's just crazy that they continue to sell you to the very end of the call. And, and let's, let's listen, listen to, to the, the lies begin. begin. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Sir Matthew. Um, I can see here that you have been a loyal customer. In the case of this call that is connecting, we can give you a call back using this telephone number. Yes. All right. Thank you. Tell me, Sir Matthew, um, how we can help you? What is the reason that you're calling WOW? Well, I'm, I might be disconnecting if the promo rate that I got is coming to an end. And there's some competitors that are giving me offers. So I have to call every year to see if I want to keep it or not. Sure. We really understand that it's completely understandable to shop around in order to get the best deal. However, we don't want to lose a customer. And we are going to look for the best price for you with some discount with not expiration day because we have that deal for this year 2024 we have that new um, benefits for you for loyal customers let me double check here give me a moment okay sir matthew how well it is your seeing now this voice in your house the way we see now i'm sorry can you repeat how well it is the internet in the thing i mean it's house. fine the issue here is i'm not here full time i'm only here like a month so this is that's why i always try to get the cheapest if i'm going to keep it i mean i don't care about the speed the slowest speeds are still very fast to me because i just don't use it that much at this location mm -hmm. all right perfect your company always plays these games with these rates so that's why you know i, I never make a promise i'm going to stay if the deal is good i keep it if not i go to a competitor Sure, we really understand that in um, point. And I can see that you have a strong Cena with 300 MBPS. Actually, you can see that one of your leads can will be expired. That is $15 available for one year. And your bill is going to go up for $40.
However, we can apply a value for you, for your real customer, and we can look at your price. It means that you don't need to give us a call back anymore during the next year or three years. Um, we're going to lock your price, means if we have some increase rate right, during the year, your bill is not going to be affected. And you're going to keep the price for, without the discount, will be $40. But we're going to lock your price for $30, 30.00. My rate is going to go up no matter what. I mean, I guess that's not a surprise. Um, it, it's always that way, right? So you're basically offering $30 a month for how long? Exactly. It's going to be for the time that you decided to keep your services. And beside this, I can hear, give me just a moment, that you can lock your price for $35. Three, five, four, no, zero. no, I'm not playing these games. No, no, I'm not playing these games. Oh, you're going to give me 30 which is an increase, and you're going to do a 35 See, your company does these bad things, okay? I'm not blaming you, all right? Your company always upset. That's yeah. why I never yeah. feel very loyal. It's always a way to try to squeeze something. And I'm not here full time, so I don't care that much. And like I said, there's other people like T-Mobile. I don't need a fool with a cable. They're wireless. Yes, I may have to pay a little bit more, but you know what? They're much more flexible. There's none of this crazy stuff with your company. But I understand you're an employee. You work for them. But that's just kind of my feelings. Yes, Matthew, you're getting the benefits. You said that it's not about the price. It is about the speed and we are um, not increase any more in your bill. That's the reason that we can lock your price for $35 or you can give, uh, get here the new customer pricing for $30 and you are you don't need to give us a call back because we're going to apply the discount here with not expiration date. Yeah, just the first one will be $40 with a new discount because after that, the system is going to apply the $10 discount and we're going to keep the price for $30 and you don't need to give us a call back. All right. I'm, will the price. Okay, I'm willing to consider the $30. The promo ends today, correct? The, the previous yes. promo. Yes. Okay, so if I agree to the $30, it will take effect immediately? Sure, we apply the new... Uh, Loyalty discount right here, just the first month will be $40. No, because that's not the way you guys do it. No, no, no. You see, you're trying to squeeze an extra $10 out of me. No, no. Why? I mean, the promo ends today. Why wouldn't you just uh, extend a $30, like starting tomorrow or something? The reason why is because after we apply the new change in our system, the system after the first payment with auto pay is going to apply the ten dollar discount with a new loyalty discount that you don't need to give us a call back anymore and we're gonna keep the price for thirty dollars. Just the first payment will be for forty dollars. The reason why is because the system needs to apply the new calls in our system and need to wait for the first payment to apply the new discount for ten dollars in auto pay. That's the reason that the system needs to wait for the first payment to apply the discount with auto pay with a new call. All right, because I called a couple weeks ago and uh, they basically said that the thirty dollars. I mean, your real your offer is the same. It's the same as the, the call from two weeks ago, except the difference is you're trying to make me pay $40 first before it goes back to 30 I think it, that's what I'm hearing. Yes, because the system needs to wait for the first payment, and the system automatically is going to apply the discount for $10. Because the price is $30, just the first one will be $40. So I am being charged $40. Exactly. Even though the promo ends today. I mean, the promo should be going in effect tomorrow, right? Yes, we'll be affected for the next billing cycle because you have the previous balance with the old billing cycle with the old price. We're going to apply the new discount, the new price, and we'll be for $30. However, the system needs to wait for the first No. The okay. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Uh, because it's never been that way. Maybe you, you're limited in what you can do, but I've never, I've, I've not heard this. All right. But you got the benefits that you you don't need to give us a call back anymore about that your discount will be expired and you're going to keep the price for $30 with a strong speed that is 300 Well, okay. Discount. How about this? All right. I am willing to call back. 
what if I do call back next year? You don't need to give us a call back because the discount will not expire. That's the benefit that you can get for loyal customer. We're going to apply the new customer pricing available for loyal customer and existing customer like you, Sir Matthew, just with a new discount. It is required that the first month you pay $40 because the system is going to apply after the first payment the $10 discount for auto pay. And after that will be $30 with not discount expiration day. All right. I am not going to make a decision. I don't like the offer, so I am going to disconnect. All right. Thank you. I'll think right. about it. You like? We can do something for you. If you don't want to pay the first month for the $40, we can give you a credit for the $10. And you start from now to pay $30. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. You see, now I don't know if it's your company or it's you. See, now I think you're being dishonest. You're being dishonest. That's what I was talking about. So not before it was your company. Now I think you're being dishonest. Because I just asked about that. And you said it cannot be done. So I said, okay, I'm going to hang up and go call. Now you're offering it. Do you see how dishonest this is? We have the loyalty discount for you, Sir Matthew. No, you didn't offer the $10 adjustment until I was going to call and think about it, right? I'm going to hang up, you know, and see, I find that very strange. I'm not trying to fight with you, okay? I'm really not. I don't like the dishonesty. This is what I deal with every year. You're dishonest with me. I asked you. You said, no, there's no way. It has to be $40. Suddenly, I'm going to hang up the phone and then, oh, wait a minute. We can go ahead and change that $10 and have it in effect right away. I mean, am I wrong? Did I misunderstand you? No, sir, Matthew, you are misunderstanding you because I'm saying that we're going to help you and you're, you don't need to give us a callback. We're going to apply. I don't care about the callback because I already have to, right? Because you guys always do this. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is I'm willing to do the $30, okay? But you kept saying that, oh, the first billing has to be 40 And I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm not going to accept it. I will hang up and and think about it right but then then suddenly wait a minute you're, you're saying well we can go ahead and adjust that ten dollars so it can take an effect did i misunderstand yeah. you no. and i want to know if no. you're being dishonest or is it your company making you do this no sir Matthew, we understand here your point but let me go ahead and apply the discount because it is the only department that we can apply the loyalty discount if you give us a call back there is no loyalty discount so let me go ahead and apply the You know what? <laughs> okay. If you with a lot of price. Okay, all right. So I don't want to argue and with you. Yeah. All right. I don't want to sit here all day long. Okay, but I know what I just heard. Okay, you kept saying that forty dollars, kept forty dollars for one time, which is a bunch of BS. It's a bunch of BS. All right, so I'm not like I said, I'm not looking to fight with you. All right. Either I I mean, I don't have to make any decision today. I can hang up, but if I can get this resolved today, then I will. Because I don't want to keep going, but I'm not fooling around with this dishonesty. I hope this phone call is being recorded by your company. I don't like the dishonesty. Okay, so I don't have a problem with the $30. That's not the issue. The issue is you're trying, you were telling me, oh, the first one's going to be $40. That's a bunch of BS. Now, if you want me to finalize this, and I've got to, rec you know, if this call is being recorded, we can finalize it with the $30. It just takes $30. I don't want to see not one $40. If you cannot do it, then we can just hang up right now and I can do some thinking because I'm not going to be lied to. This isn't going to break me. It's the whole lying business by your company. You understand? Sure, Sir Matthew. We understand. However, that is the requirements that we have. So we said that we are willing to help you and you are start paying the $30 with not to pay the first month $40 and we can apply now. However, the loyalty discount it is only available for the day that your discount is expired. That is only for today. If you give us a call back, you can lose the discount. Just let me not let me go ahead and apply the discount and you can start with that new pricing without no expiration date. I hope this will be recorded because I'm recording on this side. You have my permission to do the $30 if there is no $40 at all. Exactly. Okay, right. and hang on. Hang, and I also need clarification. Well, you know what? I'm still going to call back next year because I don't trust your company. 
So you may say this $30 will be forever. I still won't believe it. But I mean, I want to hear what you have to say. I mean, so is that $30 permanently or do I need to call back next year? I want to hear what you have to say right now. Let me go ahead and apply the new pricing. I said that the thirty dollars it is available with not expiration date. However, if we have some increase rate during the year or the next year, while well, it's going to notify by email or by text message. But you're gonna keep this price for thirty dollars and you're gonna get a credit for ten dollars for the first month. Okay. Let me go ahead and apply the credit and the new pricing in order to avoid that you paid higher amount here mm. we almost done let me see if your company made you do all of this they made you do something very dishonest i'm just telling you that right now if that's part of the training okay uh you're starting to break up on the phone call i'm not sure what's going on okay so you're breaking up very very badly is there any way you can call me back Please call me back. It's I can hardly hear you. Okay, I'm hanging up. Yes, that's me. We were speaking and the call is better. I could barely hear you uh, towards the end of that call. All right, Sir Matthew, we give you a call back in order to let you to know that now you get the new pricing for $30 with the credit for the first month for $10. Is there something else that we can do for you, Sir Matthew? Well, can you answer this? Are these calls being recorded by your company? Sure. Always it is recording. We have here all the information for you. Is there something else that we can do for you? No. I'm asking if our phone calls are being recorded by your company when we talk. If you don't yes. know, okay. Yes, if you don't know, you don't know. But maybe you do know. Yes, sir, Matthew. Is there something else that we can do for you besides this to get a loyalty discount and the credit? No, I think we're fine. I don't trust your company. I hope this call is being recorded. This call could have been a lot mm -hmm. nicer. I would have been fine with the first offer all without right, all sir, of this Matthew, yanking around. Would you like? All right, sir, Matthew, would you like to keep a confirmation number with the new discount that you have? Sure, I'll take the confirmation number. Why not? All right, the confirmation number it is. What's your name? It is Lily. L Y L Y. Okay, where are you? Uh, where are you based at? Sorry, Sir Matthew. Where? Where's the call center that you're working at? You're not in the United States. Actually, we are in part of the Central America. Okay, Central. That is the place that we are located right now. Okay. Yes. What is your native language? I'm curious. Spanish. Yes. The name of my yes, it is. All right. All right, Sir Matthew. Yes, sir. We really understand that we need to be very um, curious. At the same time, we need to be very reliable in our services, also in information that we provide. However, remember, if we have some increase rate during the year or the next year or two years, while well, it's going to notify first by email or by text message. Yes. Right. We have the support here, the verification code that I give you besides yes. this. The not that we have in the system, all right? Is there something else that we can do for you? No, Lily, uh, I understand uh, that the price can be increased. If it gets Mr. increased, Matthew. then I will worry about it then. I, I may, I could still cancel and find somebody else. So it's a good thing I have options. Yes. Good thing I have options. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, sir, Matthew. All right, don't forget if you refer a friend who activates an internet package with WoW, both of you and your friend can get $100 gift card. Simply log into Huawei.com slash refer a friend. You can start the process. Yeah, I don't know if I can refer anybody, to be honest with you. I don't think I want to refer people yes, to your company. I re Yes, I understand. We respect your decision. All right? Thank okay. you so much for calling one. Have a great day. And finally, don't forget to hit that like button, and I will see you in my next video.